how you can randomly run out of memory during a shoot. I've done that. Bro. So do you guys recycle SD cards? What do you mean? Like, you reuse them? Oh, yeah. yeah. What the fuck's wrong with you guys? <laughs> bro. Hey. Who the fuck do we have here today, bro? bro. <laughs> hey, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? Hey, Seriously. I've been doing it for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell did we yeah. bring on? I, I don't have water, so. No, it's just. Water. Do you want to so, water? So, like, I usually carry... Like, if I'm doing, like, a wedding, I'll take at least, like, three SDs just in case. Uh -huh. And most of the time, I have, like, two bodies on me. So, I'll keep, like, a 64 in one and then, like, a 128 on the other. And I'll maybe keep, like, another 64 just in case I run out of memory. Yeah. But pretty much, like, the night before, I empty out that SD card. Mm -hmm. And then I format it so that the next day it's just completely empty. Okay. And then same thing before I use it again. Like, I just like to format it. Because I used to do what he did where I would erase it through the computer and I found out the hard way that you erase it, mm -hmm. but you don't. Yeah. Because I'd be out shooting and I'm like, why does it say that I only have nine gigabytes of memory, bro? And then I'm like shooting midway and then I can't do anything. Shit. So then I have to try to delete them through the camera to make space. And that's just, it's just the yeah. hassle. So, so like for me. Here's what you're going to do from now on, okay? <laughs> you do a shoot. Yeah. You go home. You put them in your computer. You back, back it up. Yep. It's on your computer now. Mm -hmm. You format it right there. All right. You don't wait any fucking no, long. Sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. Fucking what the fuck, man? What to to do to keep it even more of a safety? Put it into your computer. Put it into yeah. Lightroom. Uh huh. And that way now you have it in two places. Mm -hmm. And then oh, I don't know if you fun. have like I don't know if you have like an external drive for yeah, like you keeping everything. Mm -hmm. So first things first, like put it into your external drive mm -hmm. and then put yep. all of them into Lightroom. Mm -hmm. And now you have two securities of like, cool, I got my photos in two spots. Yeah, that's how I do it. Um, yeah. And then go on your camera, all right. delete it. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay, for sure. <laughs> and then you, you guys need to fucking, you, you'll come here. I'll fucking show you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you, God shoot, damn, do you shoot on Sony too? Yeah. yeah oh yeah, they then ask the him, same bro. camera. And, <laughs> but uh, it's it, every camera pretty much has that feature where you yeah. go to like user utilities yeah. and then it's like format mm -hmm. and you just empty it yeah. out. Sometimes it'll just do it by itself. I literally just formatted my card before coming because I have a shoot later. Yeah, these so are like, formatted, ready to go. Is that why you dress wow. so fresh? Oh, what do you mean? Okay, I'm so casual. Now, okay, hey, wait, 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 wait. Everybody stop. Welcome everybody once again. <laughs> We're gonna start this episode. We have fucking audience today. Yeah, we our first uh, our first episode with a <laughs> our first episode with an audience member. So if you guys hear some dude talking in yeah. the background, this might be kind of tight. It's it's um this might be kind of tight. Where's he at? He's right here. Right there. You guys Christian remember him? Sanchez. Christian. My he was so and so many episodes ago. Yeah. So I can't he's remember. here today, just hanging out, <laughs> and then we also have our next guest. His episode 34 by the way episode 34 new Here. setup too oh. let me know what y'all think yeah looking fresh chava or not. chava or decided just... to stop being lazy and rearrange shit i call this pimp my podcast set it. it's <laughs> nice it's nice <laughs> he put us out the, the neon lines now bro fuck bro, that shit. that's just tight and we oh, yeah. up, bro. <laughs> all right well welcome bro thank you thank you for coming thank you guys do you want to start off introducing yourself so my name is juan cruz um i go by j cruz media with two z's um and yeah I i've like been two z's i have two z's on mine really i have six a's <laughs> on mine <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I have two r's on anders but i have my other page nans and that's yeah. two z's no i started with uh one z just because well i originally like i kept changing my name i started with like j cruz captures and it was pretty cool or j cruzy and then hey, I like that, one. That, yeah, was that was pretty cool but then like i don't know i was like nah, let me change it to j cruz media like that was like i feel like it was like aesthetic yeah, right? yeah, yeah. type thing and then when i transitioned over to big time um j cruz media was taken oh uh, mm. with the one z uh -huh. and so then i put two z's in it work so then i just changed my user handle oh, okay. oh, I so it worked yeah i just want to have a consistency so yeah. when you set it up like you fucking forget about it yeah like, oh, fuck it, i've always looked you i've thought about changing mine to something like that like a more professional one yeah but it, people are always like nah just yeah. keep and then, it you know what yeah. else like um like yeah you can change it or whatever but whatever you say you have to make it cool yeah yeah like you you know everybody knows about nanders because yeah. not not because of the name because of him you know like so, the brand yeah like his brand yeah that's he's a brand 
I He's a brand yeah. over there. <laughs> You're a brand. We can't see him, but <laughs> yeah. you bro. guys can't see him. But we can. I, I, he's I over actually, there lurking in the dark, bro. <laughs> I actually kind of like having him over here. Maybe next time, you know, if anybody wants to come, you, you guys can oh, come. Oh yeah, that would be kind of cool to just have a guest here. Just have like a whole like ten people. Just <laughs> <living>. <laughs> this room is not even that big, and we can <laughs> actually be kind of lit, right? Like if we, I I don't have one of these microphones because these are also new, and so it would be nice to give you one, but. Okay, maybe next time. Right? Or you can just hear him talk in the background, like yeah. An actual crowd. But that's the thing, though. Okay, so everybody, these are new microphones here. Hopefully, we don't hear that stupid noise that we heard for fucking thirty-three episodes. <laughs> Man, I was struggling with that shit. Dude. Yeah, you would slightly hear it in like almost every single. I was round. so stressed out about that. Even shit. if it wasn't throughout the whole thing, there'd be like little yeah. gaps. Where yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on? So it was the microphones. Now we have new ones. Now we sound clear. For sure. All right, man. So let's get into it. Let's go all the way back. Mm -hmm. When did you start taking pictures? So I always took pictures on my phone, like since when I was like 15, 14, like just little like landscape pictures. Mm -hmm. Um, It was really cool. Like I always liked taking pictures. And then when around like 2020 last year, um, I got my car, my Subaru. And so then... I started taking pictures with my phone more differently, you know, started taking more car photography on my vehicle and started doing like different angles. And then that's when I started actually editing like mm-hmm. on an actual like Lightroom app. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I ultimately decided I wanted to learn like a new thing. And so I picked up the camera. I picked up the Nikon D3 And I started, I did that. And I've always wanted a camera. My mom even was willing to buy me a camera like when I was 16. Damn, was like, you messed up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude. I know. Imagine if you started I, when you were 16. I told my mom, I was like, nah, the phone is enough. You stupid. I know. <laughs> See what you get for being humble, bro? <laughs> Literally, right? <laughs> Why'd you have to be a good person? Right? <laughs> yeah, like I, um, my mom like was offering. She's like, I'll get you the camera. I'm like, nah, like the phone is good enough for me. And then four years passed. And I'm like, the phone isn't good enough for me. <laughs> so then that's when I decided to pick up the camera. And I started just doing my my own car, just taking pictures of my car. And then I would take, like, pictures of my cousin's portraits. And we would go, like, visit together. And, like, I would take pictures of her. And then that's when, like, people started, like, telling me, like, hey, like, can you take pictures of my car? And I'm like, yeah. And so then that's when it started, like, I started getting a little bit more people Or, like, I would go to people, like, hey, like, I want to shoot your car. And then that's when I get started kind of, like, just going up from there, right? And then um, at one time, I was like, well, the Nikon's pretty cool, but the Sony's better. And so (laughs) um, I upgraded, and then that's when it's just I started, like, doing much more than what I was able to before. Did you notice a big difference when you switched? Yeah, so, like, with the Nikon at night, I I would never take pictures at night. Because my pictures would come out so grainy on the Nikon, yeah. like super grainy. Mm-hmm. Like I hated my work at night because maybe because I was doing something wrong, you know. But I had just started. I so I started like in July of 2020. Okay. Yeah. So exactly like a year ago. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I remember my very first pictures. I went to Tahoe, and I took pictures of my car in Lake Tahoe. Hey. And then I, for like the one year anniversary, that's when I went back and oh, took the same spot. Time. Oh, nice. I don't know to see the, difference. the day that I just fucking started. You guys are freaking cringy like that. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fresh in my mind, you know? I, I know. I have my... Nah, I'm just lying. Um, <laughs> I have a yearly, <laughs> like... For no reason. <laughs> I have, like, a yearly anniversary every year of when I got my first ever camera. Yeah. Which is October 27th. That's, like, 27th. yearly. Yeah. So, this year, I'm coming up to six. Six years. Six years, Damn. yeah. But, but I, rem- I remember telling myself when I first got my camera, I'm like, maybe I should like really remember Yeah. down the line. Like, I didn't know I would be doing it this long, but yeah. I'm like, let me just remember the date. So I always remembered it every year. And every mm-hmm. year I would like celebrate it Yeah. by just, like, <laughs> you know, like posting something like, yo, it's my second year. Third yeah. year. And now I'm like, oh shit, I'm up, I'm up on year six, bro. Yeah. Because I remember when I met you, we were at Donner and he came through. Yeah and I, he was just seemed like very eager to like learn I'm yeah like, oh, that's i remember so i shout out to rosie 
Ortega. Rosy. He's the one that Ortega. introduced me to. Is it Ortega? That's, it's Ortiz, my Ortiz, bad, my bad. Yeah, oh. man. You call that a friend, bro? Damn, you might have to I'm cut not, that I'm out. Not my bad. That out. I am not cutting that out for the. No, <laughs> it's not happening. I know her too, bro. See, Rosie? My See bad. The, the kind of friends you have over My here? bad. It do, it do be <laughs> like that hate sometimes. me now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I just let nah, it's fine. It's yeah, not, I forget fucking names all the time. Yeah. So like she um I when was it exactly? It was October. October, uh, right? Like something like so that. So I had all, I was doing photography for like four or five months already, but me- mostly it was like car photography. And so um I wanted to learn portraits. And so that's when that she funny. told me that Chava um was gonna take pictures of her family. And so she told Chava if I could tag along and like learn. And that's where I met Chava. Yeah. And I learned a lot from that one session. And then um, I just kept sticking with like cars um, just because like a lot of people weren't, you know, they didn't see my work in the portraits. So like a lot of people won't really come to me for it. But then recently I've been like working hard and like reaching out to other people, um, my cousins and stuff like that and practicing. And also one of my friends, Jessica Chavez, I know her last name. She uh, She's a really close friend, and she actually has helped me a lot. She's been, like, reaching out to other people, like, hey, my friend does um, pictures. Yeah. That's dope. And That's so I've, I have two, I had two people, like, lined up. I took one yesterday. It was a mother and her daughter. Nice. And then I have uh, some graduation pictures on Saturday. There Sick. you go. And then, yeah, I have also, I took this girl's graduation pictures, and she's also, she wants some birthday pictures now. And so it's just, it's all lining up now. It's yeah. just, it starts with one, bro. Yeah. And yeah. then they just kind of like become your client after that. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was, I was thinking about that today because I sent out some engagement photos for a couple I met like three years ago mm-hmm. and I've been working with them ever since then. I met them, I met them when the girl was pregnant. So they hired me for maternity photos at oh, like damn. Galena Creek. Yeah. And then when their son was born, they hired me for that. And then she graduated college, and so, like, they, she hired me for that. Yeah. Then it was, like, their son turned, like, one and a half or something. Mm-hmm. Like, old enough to where, like, they could take him on a shoot and yeah. he'd be, like, fine. They hired me for that. Oh, yeah. And then they just, like, a month or two ago, they booked me for their wedding in September. Wow. So we did their engagement, like, last weekend. And mm-hmm. now it's, like, I'm going to do your wedding in, like, a month and a half. Yeah. yeah and it started always, from a maternity shoot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So is that one person that takes a chance. Mm-hmm. Takes, takes a chance yeah. on you and you're, like... Like, I feel, like, very stoked that I have, like, said clients now. Like, I'm sure, like, you're going to have those. Yeah. I know he has them. He has them. Like, people you've done... My man over here. One or two for... Mr. Full Time over here, but okay, we'll, we'll talk. Oh about yeah, it that's right. I forgot he went. Hey, congrats yeah. though. What well, you see? Because I know <laughs> I kind of know like he's the like it's his sto- episode. Like, <laughs> he's <laughs> like no, focus on him, focus on him. Uh, I kind of know your backstory too, because you were going to school, right? Yeah. And you were a little. Yeah. So I've been going back and forth, like ever since I graduated from high school. I'm like, I have two years in community college to figure it out, and I'm like, <laughs> I was figuring it out. And so two years hit and I still didn't have it figured out. (laughs) And then, um, but I was like forcefully like doing business because like that's what everyone tells you to do. Yeah, I started with business too. So I started doing business, but then my weakest subject was math. Mm -hmm. Like literally, I was learning multiplication tables in college. Like that's how bad it was. (laughs) I don't know. I didn't know how to convert that's, fractions or that's why decimals. Hey, it's not for everybody. That's that's lucky me too. I felt so. dumb, man. I'm, like I'm college. low key really good at math, but I hate it. Yeah, like I can do all that crap. Like when I started college, math was like straight A's, bro. Shit but sucks. I hate doing it. I'm just good at it. Shit yeah, sucks. you know what? I always sucked in uh-huh. English. Really? Not like I just I'm not a very like grammar person. Mm-hmm. Like I don't check for like oh there has to be a period here and a comma here and all that crap. So I always struggled with English, but but yeah. And so, yeah, like I, um, um, what happened was that I started, you know, working my way up in math. So then I started getting more motivated to mm-hmm. do business and, uh, until I hit pre-calculus and Oof. I failed twice. And I'm yeah, like, all right, sucks. I give up. So then I went back to like, just trying to figure it out to like psychology classes and everything and didn't like them. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try math again. So then I tried my best in math and pre-calc and I got an A. So then I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go to calculus and then be my freaking finance advisor whatever yeah and then calculus hit failed (laughs) and so i was like you know what nah i'm done and so 
I was, this just happened like at the beginning of the year. I was in my math classes and I'm like failing and I'm like, wow, this is bad. And so then that's when um, my cousin, she was like telling me, she's like, well, you like photography. Like, why don't you study that? I'm like, well, I don't want to learn art. Like, I just want to do photography. She's like, well, you have to learn everything. Like, you know, learn the basics of like a lot of things to like, you know, succeed in what you want to do. And so then I'm like, you know what? I'll do it. So then I start this semester. I'm I'm going to take like art classes. Like I'm hoping to transfer to UNR and go for an art degree. Nice. Um, You know, I don't know. Like it's like one of those things where like I don't get forced to go to school. You know, my parents have never told me to go to school. They're like. It's up to you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know you're going to be working for the rest of your life. Yeah, like you, if do you don't. you want to. Yeah. So, you know, I really want to learn because I know, like you guys, you know, you guys are doing really well with that. We, honestly, we've talked about that before and we didn't knock it, knock it, but like it's not going to hurt you, you know? Yeah. No. And if you want to go for it, like go for it. If, like, if you're not sure what to go to school for, at least go for something you like. Yeah. Right. Like, like if and you're I just like that was dope. I thought business that. ain't for me, psychology ain't for me, but you know what is for me is photography. Yep. Oh, they have digital photography classes. You're still gonna go to school, so you're not gonna like be wasting your time yep. in school going for something that you're just not happy about. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it doesn't hurt to have yep. a degree in it because what if you go to some company or you're trying to do some type of like commercial job mm-hmm. and they're like, Do you have like any they'll, they'll almost ask you for like a resume yep. and you're like well look i went to university of reno and i got my bachelor's in digital mm-hmm. photo and they're mm-hmm. like oh yep. okay it's like a little step in exactly you know what yeah. I mean? like some people can get hired without a degree yep but it doesn't hurt exactly you know like i'm hurt. sure if i had one and you know like sure we freelance or whatever but mm-hmm. like if i had one and i try to do a commercial job they'd be like okay so what do you got or whatever like in yep. your resume and i'm mm-hmm. like uh Nothing. i have a bachelor's in photo and they're like oh or okay. <laughs> you exactly. know I thought then, that was up man I thought honestly when you told me I was like fuck yeah he's going for after his dream you know yeah, yeah. and the other thing is like there's fucking there's money in photography yeah. like you can make it like honestly yeah. sometimes I'm like people don't think that, like do they not realize like yeah how and much like money you can make and, like that's the thing like I really I feel like what sets me apart from most people is like I don't really go for the money you know, I'm doing this, you know, to have fun, and mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I charge, but it's like I feel like that's like a bonus for me, you know, like yeah, like that's I'm, that's yeah, that's, that's honestly huge. like really refreshing to hear, cause like that's huge. That's how it should be. Yeah. Then you also and see the other the other side of that, like people just get in it for the money and stuff. Yeah. But then yeah. you also see them fall off later, you know. Yeah. Like but, even I think to this day, like, you know, he's pretty new to like the full time scene. Yeah. Um, but like. Why are you looking at me? No, I'm, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying like, like I, I felt the same way you used to, like when you say you did right now, when I started, like when I started to make even like 40, 50 bucks, it's yeah. like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. But I was just having fun with it. Exactly. And even now, like, yeah, it's my job, but it's just kind of like, I'm just thankful to get paid for that job. Yeah. But I still go enjoy myself exactly. when I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah. And I feel like having that mentality of like, I just do this because I like it makes you be successful yeah. down the line. Because yeah. if you get in it right off the bat because you're like, oh, photographers can make money, so let me yeah. try. The minute you start not making money, you give up on it. Yeah. Exactly. And that's been so many people here, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I've had a lot of people who approach me like, you got any tips? How do you get clients? How do you do this? How do you do that? And I help them as much as I can. Yeah. But it's like, at the end of the day, bro, I can't walk you to it. Like, exactly. you have to do it Like, you're not going to be... If you don't really love it, you're not going to be pulling nope. off 16-hour yeah. shifts, you know, because mm-hmm. from the moment you wake up, you're going to be doing something. Yeah, and I, I tell them that, too. Of like, if that's not your passion that's, and you're just trying to be, like, a smart business person and make money, maybe it'll work out for you. But 70, 80 percent of the time it doesn't yeah. because people just give up when they're not making mm-hmm. any money. And why are they unhappy? Because they're not enjoying what they're doing. Yeah. They're just like, oh, bro, I'm not getting paid. So then like a month or two passes and they don't get any work Mm -hmm. and then they're like, whatever, I'm just going to drop it and move on to whatever else they try to make money with. And that was like me when I first started, like when I started like getting people, it was like a little like, like not a stepping stone, but like it was like a little leap. You know, I started, I got like a couple people, but then it died down. I'm like, damn. And so I started like, had that mentality like, yo, like I'm really not going to make money. But then I'm like, you know what? Like, that's not right. You know, I'm doing this for myself. So then 
um i started changing that mentality of like no i'm not doing it for the money i'm doing it for myself and it's just it's been like rewarding you know like it's it's just as much as like sometimes like i'm impatient like it's i feel like at the end of the day being patient like time will come like time will tell when you start getting clients slowly but surely you'll Mm -hmm. you'll get to a point where like you're like oh damn i can't i'm booked all the week or something like that you know you'll you'll know when you get get there there. yeah like it just it doesn't happen overnight for some people it happens earlier than others and that's okay like if it happens for someone in a year congrats if it happens for you in 10 years still congrats like it just everyone has the timing to it you know what i mean and i feel like eventually you you start to get to a point where you're like okay is my other daily activities getting in the way of this Mm -hmm. And when you get there, that's when you're like, I got to focus more on this. Mm, and that's, that's how you get there. That's literally what happened. So I was working as a delivery driver. And I, they told me that usually around the end of July into August, in the rest of the year, <clears throat> it gets really busy. Mm-hmm. So I was a delivery driver for on track. Okay. And so it's like the knockoff version of UPS. Yeah, I know who they are, yeah. <laughs> my man was driving this old uh, beat up truck. <laughs> <laughs> so like i it almost looked like a fucking track there or something dude, i i pulled up like to his house because i needed I, he, he let me borrow a lens but i pulled up in this like work truck and i'm like hey Damn. bro I'm here. that truck look beat the <laughs> fuck up man dude i had no it ac bro so oh. and i was working on like 100 degree weather like, it was bad oh, that's but rough. so like i noticed that um things started getting bad over there because we wouldn't get help so then i was doing a lot of the work right and then it got to a point where, like, this last month, um, I started feeling like I was doing more that work than um, photography. Oh, like, I was, okay. like, it was kind of, like, taking over my... No sacrificing. Know, yeah, and so right when I started feeling that, I'm like, this isn't right, you know, like, because I want to continue this. And moving forward, I was going to go to school for it. Like, it's, it's not going to work. And then... Don't get so close. Don't get too close? Like, you have to get close, but not so close. All right. Is that cool? Damn, they're yeah. yelling at him. Bro. Sorry, man. It's good when you go like this. It sounds muffled like that. Oh, yeah. My bad. Sorry, man. No, yeah. Go on. He acts like his voice is good to hear. <laughs> no. I'm already over it, bro. bro. Oh, my God. We've been listening, I've been know. listening to his Y'all voice be so in, my, in my left ear for like 25 minutes, and I'm so sick of it, bro. <laughs> bro, I was so pleased listening to your voice, and you're over here. Stop capping. Anyways. Uh, uh, go on, bro. I'm sorry to run through. Nah, so sorry. Did, are, you, are you still working there, or did you leave? I it? walked nah. out last Friday. He said, there you go. Today, I start my first. I, I literally, today at four, I start um, at a restaurant again. Oh, damn. Because I've. Today's so, your first day? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we won't keep you here that long. No, it's all cool. <laughs> nah, it's all good. We're about to pull up. It might need to show up late. And, uh, <laughs> On his first <laughs> day. Hey, I was doing a podcast, guys. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Get out of here then. Right. <laughs> uh, what restaurant? Uh, it's the Shore Room. The Shore, man. The oh, restaurant wow. to pull up. You yeah. yeah. No? Let us know your schedule in the next two weeks. pull up. I'm pulling up, man. Huh? We straight about to just hey, what up? Hey, yeah, but, hey imagine this man shows up late on her on his first day. The second day, his friends come through, right? And then he gives them like a big like ass discount. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, "This ain't it, bro. You need to get out of here." Uh, I because I'm actually going to New York in two weeks. So, oh really? Oh snap! Yeah. So I told them I'm like for what reason? Just to we've been we had this plan me and my cousins since last year. Oh, but COVID sick. hit. So did you just let them know ahead of time, like, yo, I have this trip? (laughs) I told them, I'm like, "Uh," they're like, when can you start? I'm like, I can start this day, but I have a trip. Is that cool? And like, they're like, yeah. A lot of companies are chill with it. A lot of of restaurants are just desperate for people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just need workers. Yeah. Especially, did you see the new mandate starting on Friday? That, I was going to say, this man's about to leave to New York when fucking COVID. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be going up. inside buildings with, with just, masks uh, on again? <laughs> nah, I'm yeah. just playing, bro. You Actually, fine. I don't know if... I would think it's a thing in New York. I mean, if I it's, it's a thing in Nevada, like... Yeah. It had, it like, it's packed over there. Yeah. It has to be. Just wear your mask. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a, it's a big deal. I saw people on Twitter, you know... Twitter finger is like, yeah. oh, this is BS. We got to put masks. I'm like, some of y'all went a little too crazy after you got yeah. vaccinated, bro. Like, you got yeah. vaccinated well, and you thought right you thought it was like a reset button. Like, yo, shit's back to normal. I'm yeah. like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, you should I still be taking it easy. I look at it that too. I, I did like, it. I got fully vaccinated. I'm like, I'm still just, I'm going to do my own thing yeah. and just kick back. Like, I'm yeah. not trying to be around hella people or anything. No, so, yeah. I, like, when I got vaccinated, I like immediately was like, eh, I'll take off my max. Man, I t- I kept it for like a couple weeks after. Would you like fuck this? But then, cause like I was working delivery driver, right? So like I'm always by myself. Oh, and, like, that makes only, sense. Yeah, so I was like, I'll take it off. And then, 
I would only put it on when I would hit businesses because I was doing business. I was delivering to businesses. And and then later, I'm like, I took it off at one business and didn't say anything. And I took it off at the so next one. you just one. got used to it? And then I'm like, <laughs> to a point where like I just started showing Testing up with the water. So I, yeah. always, I always still kept like, I st- still have two masks in my car, like just in case. And every once in a while, I still, I'll yeah. still wear Some it. And I already, still like, I'm already fully vaxxed. Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't know, bro. I feel like. People took it. it as like I'm vaccinated, everything reset. I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> there's variants of that shit going I around. Know. Like, I don't know if you saw in the yeah. article, like that's why they're doing it, because there's a variant in Nevada yeah. that's causing like hella cases in the past week or so. Yeah, today I think Washoe County had like three hundred mm-hmm. from the Delta. Yeah. So, in think, the past two I weeks, there's been COVID. like three thousand something cases, bro, in like the past yeah. three Once weeks. Get Mostly get in Vegas. Up. Yeah. But up here there's been two. Yeah. And you know people in Vegas were going ham. Like yeah, they were dude. like, whatever, bro. <laughs> we're back to reality. Literally. But yeah, I mean, um so what's is your schedule at this restaurant like kinda random or do you have like set times? So they told me like how would my how would I work? Like they told me like what days you want. I just told them I'm pretty much available any day. Um you just said that? Yeah. But then, yeah, but I know, (laughs) but it's like, I, they're going to be like, oh, say less. Nah, they, uh, they told me if I'm willing to do like mornings as well. So uh, that would be nice because I'm kind of, well, I was used to working, you know, in the morning, but then recently this like last week I've been sleeping at three in the morning and waking up (laughs) up at 12. Waking up hella late. Let me tell you about that. I, I, I didn't sleep all night. All night. I didn't sleep all night. I don't know. I took like a two hour nap, like a nine from nine that. to eleven I'm, and i'm good i'm back to uh, i can't because i don't get tired i used to get super tired at work that at night i would just automatically mm-hmm. fall you know like i i mean i took me a while to adjust to like i can go to sleep at whatever time it's i want getting worse and worse by the day man. but me i'm just an early riser as it is yeah so even if i go to sleep at like two three i'll probably wake up at like seven thirty eight. yeah this is the like way i won't been. sleep past then so my body just naturally around 10 yep. 30 11 is like hey bro go to up. sleep soon because you got to get up at like seven yeah. <laughs> this is the way that, uh, it has been for me so basically i don't sleep throughout the night for a night right that's why you always and then like i go throughout this. the day <laughs> and then by the end of that day i'm, I'm pretty tired so then the next day i sleep like fucking 13 hours right mm-hmm and then i'm Damn. fresh you know i'm feeling good then i go throughout the day Again. don't sleep throughout that night one Bro. more time and then repeat i'm like fuck dude this just sucks man. surprised not to have salido canos, bro. i know man i'm like definitely letting shitty, myself go shitty i'm gonna schedule. fucking die at 35 i, I Bro. just know it man <laughs> Oilo. I just Oilo know it. <laughs> mark my words i mean you keep that shit up you might if you, <laughs> you start getting if i sleep. die at 35 and you're watching this can i have your cameras <laughs> What I mean, why would I do with that shit? Can I you, mean, like, leave it to somebody. You leave it for your mom. She can sell it. She get a couple thousand Damn. bucks from it. She can pay for the funeral with all this shit. <laughs> Yo, for real. Hey, low key though. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, she hey, could. you want a it decent has. casket, Chava? Let's sell all those Sony's, bro. She's she so expensive, man. Like, like people die. Too. Like you just die. You know, like, and that's why some people start that um thing where they like put money into that, like throughout their life yeah yeah so that when my parents when, invested in that hey, yeah so that when it happens like it's hit? covered you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> no there's, there's like, like a a funeral insurance it's, i don't oh, know okay, if it's okay, like okay. yeah it's not it's almost kind of like an insurance where like every month or so you you put in like a mm-hmm. certain amount of money we'll start putting money in that when shit. something happens like somebody has the right to take that money yep. out and use it for your funeral expenses that's what my parents are doing yeah I've, I've been i mean i don't think it's a bad idea it's just kind of weird to think like i'm putting money towards my funeral bro yeah. like this is weird you have to though. <laughs> but then yeah. when you think about it, if something happens to you out of nowhere yeah like your family has to co- like mm-hmm. cover that now and it's like seven eight k plus oh, yeah. at least you yeah. know it just sucks you better be popular bro and start a gofundme and see if people can help you out <laughs> huh Jeez. hey that's another way man it is help i've out. donated to gofundme yeah, for like same. you know friends or yeah. like or like a sibling or a cousin from them passed away. You know, I'll give whatever I can. Like, yeah. Because I know how it'd be, dude. It's it's an expensive thing. 
I know everything. In it while dying is expensive. Like, like bruh. dying literally. sucks, man. <laughs> we can't get nothing in life. Don't you think <laughs> dying sucks? Dying sucks ass, bro. I would I think so, dying. bro. Yeah. He said dying <laughs> sucks. <laughs> you're such a clown, <laughs> bro. <laughs> dying sucks. Have you died before? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> How Maybe. Do you know? Maybe. Maybe. Do you believe in like uh, life after death? He, yeah, I think on the inside he's just an empty hollow now. Bro. <laughs> no feeling, having ass. He's just like I'm dead he's just inside. like an empty shell of Literally. himself. Like you look at Chavo when he was like 11, 12, hella happy and playful. Now he's just like, bro, I don't I'm just sleep. Dead, bro. <laughs> just looking be, at the I'll ground. I'll be, be staying up all Literally. night till like five. <laughs> I got all that shit done though. That's for sure. I mean, that's okay. yeah. That's crazy. I kind of like it because of that. Um, so, oh my God, I totally like lost my train of thought. Cause if this fool over here, you know, no, I get it. I get it. You're a little slow and it's Bro. okay. <laughs> says the guy that says he can't do math. All right, my boy. All right, my oh, wait, boy. That's me, bro. That's me. <laughs> nah. Hey, if the shoe fits, bro. <laughs> it does. It does fit. <laughs> if the shoe... I'm sorry, my dude. But, hey. That's how we do it. If the, you can't do hey, math in your 20s. <laughs> hey, I lost the F hey. for the fourth graders by creative sign. Huh? I lost the F for the sign. I don't know what happened to it. Or, or creatives <laughs> by creatives. <laughs> I got. I think I still have extra lettering. I'm yeah, trying to find one and one. just put the little F on there. What were we gonna um, say? Was it something important or not, bro? Yeah, it was about him, bro. It's about our guest. Stupid ass. Um, <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> How long are you in New York? Uh, uh, five days. Oh, so just like a short trip? Yeah, pretty much the weekend. Do you um? Have you done a wedding yet or no? Mm-mm. Do you want to? I wanted to, like um. That's that's the thing like. Like I said, I'm, like, transitioning over from, like, car photography into portraits. And I'm at a point where, like, I just want to, like, I'm willing to do anything. Do you want a second show with me sometime? I'm down. I'll bring you along. That's a good idea. He yeah. won't because he says he will, but he won't. But I'll, you can pull up with me, bro. What? Second shoot? Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Honestly, that's straight up. It's hard. I got if you want a second shoot a myself, wedding like this dude, year, I still have plenty coming up. You can come with me. Hell yeah. Like, just Jesus just God, expect to have like guy. the day open. Yeah, because I, like, I like I did a wedding, but it was my uncle's, mm-hmm. right? But it's like you know, it's that's it a wedding. Still, it's a family thing. Yeah. No, it's different though. It's a different atmosphere. Yeah. Because like, I guess it's true. Yeah, way yeah. more comfortable. Half. Yeah. Because I only knew half of the family. Oh. <laughs> you know? But like, I still, you know, I took pictures of like the whole family. Yeah. And everything. I feel like when it's someone who's just like a client, and maybe you've met them before. Yeah, there's like that comfortness of like I know them, but you you like take pictures of everything because yeah. mm-hmm. you're like I can't miss anything, yeah. bro. Yeah. Have you guys ever gotten a shot? Have you gotten a shot list for a wedding? I just got no. one for the the one last week, bro. It was big. <laughs> like, let me see if I can pull this up. It was like a shot list that I think one of the bridesmaids I, found on like Pinterest. I don't think I would mind that though. Would it's not. That? It hella helped. Oh, like, like a list that tells you like hella yeah. Hella. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was the shot wait, 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 list wait like it's telling you what to do yeah so it it it, it names like shots that they want taken wait, during different matters. time periods of the day oh, okay and i mean some of them are like Whoa, weird detailed yeah it's super detailed and but some are like things that i already do no matter what yeah. like there was like a a bride first look with the dad and i'm like i always ask a bride if they want to do that Can it'll I have simple myself? huh uh sure it it'll have simple things like huh yeah send it to him too <laughs> it'll have simple <laughs> yeah, things up. like photos of the rings or like their jewelry yeah photos of the the bride you know like the mom helping the bride get dressed yep. like things like that that are mm-hmm. like pretty straightforward um but it was kind of nice because like it was it was broken down into into like the getting ready the ceremony mm-hmm. the reception and then like the last things of the reception so I just kind of kept looking at it. You know, I told the girl, like, she wasn't like, you don't have to get, like, everything. She's like, but, you know, it's just, get like, for reference. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm pretty sure hey, I got. Hey, he looks at him, but get everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I got, like, you know, every single little thing in there. Maybe, like, a few things. Like, there was things like, oh, photos of the DJ. And she's like, you don't got to do that. You know, like, why do you got to take a photo of the DJ? Yeah. <laughs> like, there's there's random ones like that. Like, it's just so specific that some of them are like, why would you do that, yeah. though? Yeah. They even had, like, the photos of the guests, like, during dinner. I'm like, you want me to go take photos of people eating? Mm-hmm. You know, so things like that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to scratch that off. Like, yeah. I'm probably going to, like, 
copy and paste this and then delete like the weird ones it's a good and then idea just keep, though like the yeah it's good i have never gotten one before sometimes you're at a wedding and you're like you kind of blank out yeah you blank yeah <laughs> yeah so um i mean like when you second shoot i feel like you almost get that through the other person yeah. like you kind of just see what they're doing all day and you're like okay get this get this get this mm -hmm. get that um so that's why i'll tell people who definitely want to do weddings like just ask someone yeah. if you can go with them like the thing with like second shooting your first wedding though it's like i personally like like i have i have someone second shooting with me this saturday mm -hmm. and like i feel really bad for him like coming with me all day yeah and i like i want to pay him something but he's like but you don't have to because yeah. i'm asking if i can yeah exactly. and i'm like yeah but like <laughs> like it's like a weird it's like a weird gray area because it's like bro you're gonna be with me all day like i mean i'll drive and everything whatever yeah. like i'm not gonna make him drive but then it's like i know how long the day goes you yeah, know yeah. like i want to give you something yeah, but then something. it's like it doesn't have to be that but much. then but it yeah but <laughs> food, yeah but then it's like numbers. it's also different though because it's like if someone wants to come with you to learn it mm -hmm. technically you don't got to pay them exactly. if you're you asking gotta. someone to come exactly. with you because you need their help then pay them yep unless but think, unless put, put yourself like, in the uh, like if you were starting now you're like go help somebody and you're like just doing it because you want to yep. and they fucking pay you bro think about how you're gonna make that person feel you know yeah, yeah. i don't know I it's like, a good it's a good like okay thanks you know I mean? bro like you 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 helped me out and you still paid me yeah. this like person when, is when i second shot my first ever wedding i it was with chef and davy oh, and they wanted to give me something but i was like nah like don't even trip and they yeah. didn't because i was the one that was like nope yeah, like i just want to go with you but then throughout these years i've been asked if i can go second shoot and i'm like okay if you're asking me to go with you because you need help then i expect yeah. to be paid for my time because exactly. i'm not asking you if i can yeah. so that's where like if right, if you need sense. them to come with you pay them yeah. if they want to come with exactly. you you technically don't have to if you're a nice person and you want to give them like 50 80 bucks hey bro this is your gas or something like yeah, yeah. whatever because they still you know came also with you. i need a second shooter for september 4th if, if anybody's on let me know i would but i have a wedding and that's also exactly my birthday. that's a, exactly my fucking point you were throwing shit at me two minutes ago because i don't want a second show for you bro i can't i bro. can't i can't i can't i am wait, busy bro. wait pause i, pause. I have when so much shit going on i don't even know where shoot for me when did i bring that up i said that no? you would say you would have him second shoot but you wouldn't bring him i never said about you second shooting Jeez. for me you're tripping bro i mean anyway <laughs> he, he didn't even know what i was talking about <laughs> earlier <laughs> Recording, so. <laughs> uh, about a fight right i now, i don't ask him to second shoot with me because i know he's busy that's that's not yeah. a bad thing what you what? going on about bro i don't know that's like, like how i, I he's like that, he totally misinterpreted <laughs> he's what hitting I said. on the wall like every night it's like i want a second shoot <laughs> <laughs> no i i have a lot of shit just why do you need fun. a second shooter that day are they asking you to do like photo video the bride would prefer a second shooter oh they just want one yeah that they happens to me sometimes too really the which um, makes sense like the ones where well I'll, I'll shoot you some dates but like yeah. i have some where they're like are you bringing someone and i'm like i can yeah and that's when i ask someone who like wants to come and learn to like come yeah. and do it um but like on saturday the the bride wants a few things in video and i'm like i can't do both so i yeah. gotta have like you know so that's why i'm having this one dude come with me just to cover like the photo areas while i do a little bit of video yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'll send you the raws and everything, whatever. And But he's never done a wedding. So okay. he's like, I just want to come. And like, you know, because I, I posted something on Instagram. Like, I'm looking for a volunteer and I'm willing to pay. Yeah. And he was just like, if you want to pay me, just pay me whatever, which I'm going to because I just feel like bad not doing it. Because <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's a weird situation because like he wants to help me out because he's never done a wedding and he wants to learn. But then I also need his help. Yeah. So I'm like, I need your help, bro. Like, I'm going to pay you yeah. something because you're still going to cover the photo area while I'm doing some video. Like, yeah. you know, but you know, why don't you do what Chava does? What? Bro, that's just so hard, man. I've done it before and that shit's that's ass. So hard, I saw that picture, bro. I'm like hard. freaking the camera yeah. with pictures and the other one, the, uh, the gimbal yeah. with the video, bro. It's very like, hard. How do you it's, it's doable, but you feel like shit after. I do. do. No. Nope. I, I did it for a long time like three years ago mm -hmm. and you know over time you kind of just get your way of working that you can kind of make it work it's not ideal 
Yeah. I don't recommend it. It's not. That shit sucks. <laughs> but I did it in April for maybe the third time in my six years. Wow. I'm like, I'm never doing this yeah, shit. Again, I'm gonna be bro. posting some videos of like I'm also never yeah, ever doing that shit. Yeah, I'm also never ever gonna bro, do two weddings your on the same weekend. Same like weekend? a Saturday and Sunday. Really? Back Fuck that too much. dude. When you take the it's picture, the gimbal goes off and yeah. you like not <laughs> You have the stable. <laughs> the the bride and is not in the frame. What? I'm like, oh shit, like Sometimes I just kind of guess. Bro. Yeah, at that point, just ask somebody to come pull up, bro. You get like a vest. <laughs> I feel oh, wow. honestly, huh? it goes best, bro. Oh, there, yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Cling it here and then just. Um, <laughs> like yeah, it, a GoPro like a helmet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just slap it on here and just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not even like looking at. He's like looking at his camera like this. I, but I thought my this head is to pointing towards them. Then they'll be not good. even a GoPro, but like <laughs> get like a. <laughs> end of the year, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious. <laughs> Just right here on his little shoulder, a little GoPro. Recording. That wouldn't be like a super bad idea, I don't think. But I mean, anyway, <laughs> it's low key kind of smart. But you're gonna it look is. sus as hell yeah. out in public like that. You're gonna be like, "What you doing?" I bro? do feel comfortable doing it, but. <laughs> You I just prefer not to. I would prefer not to, but yeah. if I have to, I, I feel pretty good about doing mm -hmm. it by myself. Here's here's what I'm going to say. The last one I posted. I if the check is big enough, there. I'll do it my damn self. <laughs> yeah, right? But if it's like, you're just going to pay me mostly for photo, yeah. then... No, 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 no. But also, mm -hmm. they if they understand that you're by yourself mm -hmm. and it's not ideal, then what's the problem? When, I have, when I've had it. couples ask me, I'm like, look, I can do it for the price that you're trying to pay because some couples can't afford video and photo i understand you yeah. know it's expensive and i'll ask them look what kind of video do you want though is the thing like do you want like a super detailed all day five minute film like nice transition everything's got to be cut and like song everywhere you know like a typical wedding video yeah if you want that i can't do both at the same time like mm -hmm. there's just no way i'm like if you want just simple little shots throughout the day put together and you just want your ceremony all recorded like i can just set my camera on a tripod and let it do its thing yeah and then you just want video of you dancing because you can't really get photos of that anyways it's more of like a video thing yeah then sure i got a tripod bro set that up right there yeah. and i'll take pictures as you're dancing you yeah. know and <laughs> some couples do want that they're just like no i want the entire ceremony just recorded i'm like oh pff, cool Easy dude <laughs> or they're like i want I don't care if the camera's in one spot while I'm dancing with my dad or he's dancing with his mom and we're dancing with guests. I'm like, oh, cool. I can do that all day. Yeah. That's and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, if you don't pay me that much for that, I'll take it. Yeah. But that's kind of how it goes for thing, me too, though. Like they just want something simple? Like I set up a camera over there and it's recording. Like it's not even mm -hmm. moving. It's just recording. And then the gimbal on me, I mean, I can get cool shots with it. But if I don't, it doesn't really matter because I can always cut to the other one, you know? Yeah, just a, yeah. That's it my just, I guess yeah. it just depends, depends on what the client wants. Yeah. yeah, but it's just a pain in the ass. Like I'd it rather just bring. I'm over here like the learning video. Like I still, I'm like, I was talking to Chavo the other day. I had like some footage from like April, and I didn't know how to like make it work <laughs> until like this last weekend. I was like, I was playing around with it and I made it work, but. It's pretty shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm lot, still man. I'm still learning too. I'm by no means a videographer, bro. I, but I, I can like do I'm, simple things. You know? I'm kind of glad that I started with video first because uh -huh. I started with video, and I kind of you know learn a little bit of that, and then I moved on to photo. Because when you start with pictures, <coughs> then you get used to working with the camera in a certain way, and then having to change that yeah. to a whole video by by because video. Like video is definitely easy, like more advanced. What's yeah. your What's so your take on photo and video? It. But um, by yourself. Yeah, once you pick it oh. up, you pick it up, you know? It's just... What did you say? No, I'm just talking to him. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways my, um, yeah, talk no, to but the yeah, audience, would, too, I'd bro. definitely like, like you to come for oh, yeah. at least one or two, however you want to do and stuff. Yeah, dude, Because that's down. just... Dude, I'm going to say it once, like I've said every episode. The more you post about things you want to do... Exactly. The more clients you're going to get. Yes, sir. It's cool to have a dope little Instagram feed and post all the cool shots... But are you getting hired? Yeah. Or is that like if you want to do it as a hobby, by exactly. all means, post all the cool photos you want as a hobby. But if you're out here trying to make it and make money, you got to realize that the cool little stuff like that doesn't necessarily get you paid. Yeah. It's just the sad reality of it. Exactly. Like, like there's people who I, I, I highly, highly respect and love like big time like landscape photographers. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard for them to make money because it's like you got to maybe rely on prints. 
or if you're doing like art shows and people are buying your stuff and unless you get picked up by a couple companies like people aren't really gonna pay for that you know it's like the only source of income from being like a full-on landscape photographer is like you sell prints yeah and some people don't it's Mm -hmm. hard prints are hard in my opinion because i used to try to do that a long time ago and i would sell from time to time but by no means to like the get same by. as you are right now yeah like not like just doing portrait stuff and then as soon as i started posting different portrait things people just want a reference is yeah. what i tell people all the time like it's like oh you want to start doing graduations because grad season's coming up you don't have any grads on your feet bro. Exactly. people don't know what they look like so That's at least what i told him too yeah, yeah it's like ask at least two people like yo can i take grad pics for you for free yep. Cause that's just your portfolio starting, you yeah, know. Literally, I, like, told, I told him like, if you want to make some money and do this as a business, go with people. Like, hard. Yeah. It's probably hard to get paid too. No. It's yeah, it's harder too. Yeah. Por- portrait is definitely the easiest. Cause yeah. There's so many people. Exactly. People always want photos. There's always gonna be clients. Cars, yeah, but it's like I don't know how that industry works yeah. or anything. So. Cause like it's crazy. Cause recently on my Instagram, my photography page, um, I've posted the wedding and my cousin's uh, portraits and within the spam of those like two three weeks that i post no two weeks that i posted those i've gotten three clients for portraits yeah see yeah. like that's like that's crazy because yeah. i would only post cars so no one like i would post like one portrait session and then cars 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 again can i, can, can I give like um i i cut you off man i'm so sorry. no it's cool Fuck, dude, I can you look I'm the worst. One, no, you can't give whatever you're gonna uh, give, bro. Where's the <laughs> I, I need one of those ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I suck. I'm not like the worst podcast host, man. I'm no. so sorry about that, but I just. Fuck. You're gonna say anyway. I I have like a hot take. Uh-huh. Your, uh huh. You're you're a um, car photographer, and you follow somebody, and they go on your page, and they see all cars. Good luck getting a follow back. Unless that person is into cars. Good fucking luck. Oh, I see what you mean. Every, yeah. Like, who are you? Yeah. Like that one meme. Like, hey, that guy that added me with uh, his, his truck as his profile pic. Can you roll down the windows so I can see who you are? <laughs> <laughs> like, who are you? Like, yeah. you know, if you are trying to do this, post yourself, post people, post something, you mm-hmm. know? I don't know, man. It also doesn't hurt to showcase how you are as a person through your stories people seem to like that okay like if you're one of those like i only post photo shit on my stories all the time Mm. like like if you just repost your your photo you post it to your story and that's it yeah cool you're getting more interactions or whatever but like i've noticed that people like to see especially with photographers because we don't post ourselves that much unless you're him Cause he's a model too. Um, like, well, uh, he said. <laughs> he said. <laughs> hey, I, I own that shit. Now. <laughs> hey, I mean, props, bro. Cause I'm I can't not, do it. I'm um, not, but. <laughs> but like, you know, most people, like most photographers, they don't post themselves like that. So sometimes people are like, I don't even know what he looks like yeah. or yeah. what they look like. And then they also, you also have like this little mystery of like how are they in person before they meet you? They're mm-hmm. like, what if he's like super serious? Yeah. Or is this? But if you kind of <laughs> like showcase how you are on your story people almost get comfortable with you before they meet you already yeah. and so when they meet you they can a bring stuff up that you post about yeah. so then boom there's a conversation yep. and it strikes it like that you know or like they'll they'll just have this feeling of like he's not hella serious like he's not gonna show up to the shoot and be like stand here do this do that yeah. do that do that yeah like super serious <laughs> the whole time um so definitely do that like especially now that you're transitioning a little more yeah. into like people mm-hmm. i would I don't know how you are about like recording yourself or anything, but even if it's like, like, bro, I post on my story that I'm playing fucking Smash Brothers and people comment on that. Yeah. They're like, yo, let me play. I'm like, catch this L. Let me see. And they're like, you know, when we go shoot, they're like, how long you've been playing that game or what other games you played? There's a conversation right there. So it just helps, man. It's all about the connection with the person, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause it's weird. Cause like, I feel like people are like blind in the aspect of like, cause I have my personal page. And then, like, you know, like, I post on my photography page, and it's, like, two completely different pages, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, like, sometimes, um, because, like, on my personal page, it's, like, me and my car and stuff like that. And it's, like, funny because, like, I've gone to shoots, you know, and they're, like, what car do you drive? I'm, like, well... You didn't see? Like, they, uh, uh, the other yeah. page, I have hella Literally, photos of me in my car. Something like that. Wouldn't that be because they don't pay much attention to the cars? Yeah. Yeah. 
Like if they're not a car person, they yeah. probably aren't. And exactly. most people are not. They're Let's not. just be honest. Like they're not. most people are not. Like you know. I like cars, but not enough to consider myself a car person. Yeah. Like I can appreciate it. And I, I saw your car outside. I'm like, that's Thanks. clean. Yeah. But I'm not over here like, yo, bro. So what do you got in there? Is it like stock yeah. or? No. <laughs> it's like a, like a short. I'll just it's look like at it. I'm like, this is dope. But, but I don't need to know all the details about yeah. it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It like. like it's like a community, you know, it's like mm-hmm. different, yeah. like you guys don't really know a lot, but then there's like those people. Bro, I have like, my little community of Smash gamers here. Yeah. I go to tournaments every Thursday, bro. 30, 32 people just playing Smash. Damn. There you go. Tomorrow I'm going actually. Tomorrow's That's Thursday. Like, so it's like, 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 there's little communities for everything. There's That's people like. who have... Um, like their own little thing that they gather for and that, here that doesn't and that's do fine it. i'm not knocking that at all yeah like I, it's cool that you have the community now let's cancel him and you're gonna you're gonna get the support let's cancel him for cutting people within, off. Yeah. within hey, i know man clip within, it clip this hey chava hates hey. car people <laughs> <laughs> we keep cutting him off right now bro I know. all right go on go on. i was just trying to be a dick <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I said I'm done. I'm done. I'm done no, talking. we know you don't mean no offense by it, bro. It's just it's it's a hard fact though. Not everyone is, no, and yeah. that's okay. It's yeah. okay for everyone not to be into the same thing. Exactly. Like, that's fine. If anything, you know, you're trying to get into this other community or like industry or whatever, yeah. then you know that's something that you can also use to your advantage. Exactly. Just be a goofy ass guy like me. Be yourself. Me and I really yeah, do just that. Be yourself. I like when I do shoots with like you know I've done. Like graduation, like yesterday, I did like a mother and daughter uh, shoot, and it's like um, I used to be like that shy, quiet person, but I've been trying. Well, it's not even that. Like it's like my own brain just tells me like you're a quiet person, like no one likes you or something like that. And then it's like your own thoughts. Yeah, and then like uh, at the end of the day, it's like my mom always tells me like eres un perico. Like you're you just talk a lot. Yeah, you, you, I literally will talk like eight hours and not get tired. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's like just gotta get past that barrier. Yeah. So like for me, it's like I've been trying to like work my best to like not have a barrier in the first mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. You know, so like I just say whatever. And I think in the industry of portraits, that's very important too. Mm-hmm. Like to be, a, we've said it a lot. If you're a people person, you're probably gonna go pretty far yeah. with it. You know, because people just want that. That's the biggest thing, bro. Mm-hmm. The biggest thing. Sometimes that's what people, he was saying. Don't, people don't care about the photos. Yeah, people care about hanging out Just with you for an hour. With you. Me with you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like the family pictures. Like my mom was like, "Let's go to J C Penny and get some pictures, like portraits." Oh, yeah. I'm like, like no. Nah. Like let's <laughs> like, do. Nah, I want to do Chavo because he did. You know, like I said, Rosie, and I like how he did it, and like it was fun. So I was like, "Let's do that." And mom's like, "Okay." She's like, "Well, I'm not even photogenic, and pictures came out good." Yeah, it's it was it's fun. so funny it was fun to time. like. Well, that's where we run into him. It's so funny you say that because like. I, I've been in certain shoots where, like, it'll be, like, a couple or something, and they're, like, we just kind of wanted to, like, meet you, too. And I'm, like, oh, well, hi. <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, they, they wanted photos, obviously, because they see what they see and they like it. And they're, yeah. like, oh, I haven't had, a like, a couple session. But then as, like, we're going through the shoot, they're, like, it's kind of dope to just meet you, though. And I'm, like, bro, I'm just kind of here. <laughs> I'm just a person. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm literally just some random dude like i'm not they put you up here like yeah i'm like that's also i'm like don't don't put me up here put me like down here yeah if you're a photographer you think you're the shit because it's because some some people do they have like this ego about them and it's like bro relax yeah yeah it's like you're just a photographer calm down calm down like we all do it too you ain't we just click a button on the camera and that's all you just put visco filters on your shit Nah, nah, bro, bro, true, don't, be, don't be too cocky about that shit. Okay? No, yeah. yeah. Well, people um are turned off by that anyways. Yeah. If you, you show up with that energy to, to a shoot, like, more than likely they're not going to shoot with you again. Yeah. yeah. And, um you know, it's like that with anything, though. Like, in any industry that you're in, if you're cocky about what you're doing, yep. people yeah. are going to be like, cool, I kind of enjoyed it, but I'm probably not going to go back. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, I wouldn't blame them, you yeah. know? So. Definitely. All right, man. We're getting close to the no, end No, we're not. What this. the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's been like an hour or something, so? right? Like an hour. Trying to, uh, he's trying hour? to cut you off, bro. I know, right? <laughs> bro, you're going to fucking edit this? I don't think so. so. I'm the one that always <laughs> told you that you needed help. Nah, bro, I got it. <laughs> I got this shit, bro. I got yeah, this give shit. it to me. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to give this shit to you, bro. Just give it to him. Edit it by I'm going to just go on YouTube. Footage gets lost. No, I'm just playing. Footage gets lost. No, I'm just playing. No, I was looking at my watch, too, because this dude has to go to work at 4 2, so we're not trying to keep you that long. cool, bro. And he flaked on Anna's. I'm down if you two are. I'm down. I was going to invite you guys if you wanted to go. Well, no, I don't know if you can because you have to work at four. Well, I brought my extra clothes. That's why. I'm like, where's your job? Where's that job at? It's uh, um, uh, Mid- Midtown. 
The Renaissance? The Renaissance. We're the Reno. Reno. Because we were, we were going to go to Korean barbecue on McCarran. Mm. Have you ever been there? Where you like cook your own food and you just. I've been there. Like all you can eat? Yeah. We were going to go I there. I drive like hella fast, so. If you're trying to pull up, you should. You, oh, yeah. I was going to invite down. you guys, but. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Do you want to go to there? Or are you trying to stick to Anna's? Because if you are, that's fine. I understand. I mean, Anna's is right here. Mm. And it's bomb. <laughs> that's okay. We can we can go another time. It's all good. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Cheese, man. Yeah, but we'll keep the, the shit talk. <laughs> or I could ask my homie if he just wants to come eat Anna's too. Dude, that'd be, yeah, that works out. I'm done. Has he been to Anna's before? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. huh. Yo, hello, sir. Yo, Nando's over here. Nando's, you got something to tell Sheesh. us? Bro? Yo, he's not even saying anything. He's, he's, he's not, not even. I can't multitask, bro. I'm terrible at it. He's not if I'm texting, don't even speak to me because I'm probably not gonna okay. listen to what you said. <laughs> like I'm so bad at that, dude. <laughs> he like closed this whole world. He's like, I need to text this guy. <laughs> I wish. I wish I could do that. Hold on. Uh, that's awkward. Oh, I think he's down. Hey. How does a quick we, respond? That's awkward. Well, like you, I told him I would text him around this time. Awkward like, silence. Like, about that. <laughs> I'm over here trying to... I hate this fool so much, bro. I'm over I here trying it. to accommodate, like, yo, let's just stick to the plan and go eat together as homies. Awkward <laughs> silence. <laughs> Show ass up, man. <laughs> All right, I'll tell him to head there now then because he's in Sparks and we're right here. But... Okay. Um, sure. Do you want to wrap it up? Plug the Instagram one more time, man. It's uh, J Cruz Media with two Z's. When there's there's a period in the middle. <laughs> of Where the? F- <laughs> <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> All right, so it's J Cruz dot Media. There That's, we go. There you go. He, <laughs> well, this knows okay, Mister, I got six A's in my name. Now, low key, I after Isn't that, that one encounter we had. Don't you have an underscore too? At the end. <laughs> when um, I was at my family session, he's like. Bro, how do you not know your media, your your like handle? Yeah, you and since then shit. I'm like ingrained in my oh, brain. Was with me, yeah, he was like, I was like, "What's your handle?" He was like, I was like, I'm so surprised you put on another handle. Like I knew it, cause it, but it wasn't like refreshed because like I had just like recently changed mm. it. So like I was stuck with the J Cruzy captures. Makes sense. So, but yeah. All right, brother. Awesome. Well, Thank you guys. Hey, I like man, where, it was a pleasure meeting you. It was you. a pleasure yeah. as well. I like where I'll you're, definitely be in touch about you. Know. I just want to say, I, I like where your head is at. Thank you, man. I can see you going. I appreciate yeah, that. I man. definitely um, really like where you're at with yeah. it, and I'm happy that you're making that transition into it yeah. now. So that's why I'm like, dude, you want to pull up? Hell pull yeah. Up. yeah. I, I'll try to help you as much as I can. Thank you, man. You know? yeah. I appreciate that. Just yeah, shoot sure. much, as much as you can, and... Things will Try not to be around too much out. with him because then you're probably right. going to lose your sleep schedule. <laughs> and you're going to just become an asshole. <laughs> You'll be empty, hollow of yourself. <laughs> right. Literally. Gonna, all right, all right, all right. You're going <laughs> to lose the will to live. I'm done being mean to him, bro. <laughs> the will to live, man. All right. Thank you, everybody. Oh, so, thank, thank you, you man. Peace out. Peace yeah. out, guys.